everyone this is my second decluttering video this is going to be mainly on this section of my makeup drawer i haven't really touched this after my first video so that's why it still looks a mess as you can see i have a lot of old color pop shadows these super shock shadows i actually really was and i guess i am still a fan of these i still really like the formula i was a big fan of them i don't know why i just kind of fell out of love with ColourPop. um i don't know i haven't really been too interested in the things that they come out with so i haven't really repurchased or bought any new color pop items these are mostly old shadows i'm not sure if they're still available but again a lot of the makeup that i do have is very old i don't actually want to come out and admit this because it is pretty shameful for me all of my collection is not stuff that is like brand new condition or acceptable condition some people were telling me that i should have donated a lot of the makeup that i was getting rid of in my last video i just want to say that makeup is in not good condition for it to be donated I would never want to donate makeup that is not in like, pristine condition to anybody, especially to those in need. I would not like give them something that is expired, basically garbage. I, I wouldn't. A lot of the makeup that I have is super old. I am cutting down on makeup purchases. I haven't bought new makeup in a very long time, but I did make quite a few purchases earlier this year so i still have a lot of things that i need to get rid of because i didn't purge before i made those purchases a lot of the things that i will be getting rid of are extremely extremely old things that i cannot donate if i could donate then i definitely would and i have donated before it's just that a lot of the makeup that i am getting rid of is stuff that it just needs to be gotten rid of it's not just because i have an excess I'm not like a huge beauty youtuber who has like pr packages sent all the time so i have a lot of extra things it's not like that these are all things that i have individually touched and used and it's been a while because it's just built up over the years my collection is years in the making so there are products that are extremely old and it's pretty embarrassing but i'm gonna be real a lot of my makeup is like super old and i keep some of it so moving on to this drawer first off i see this innisfree lip oil this is a product that i talked about in my last video I'm gonna get rid of it because it's really old and I just don't use it. Next is this Aditown Mono Eyes and this one is G Lady Lady Glam. I actually really do like this eyeshadow but it's broken and I definitely feel like I do have similar eyeshadows to this so I'm just going to get rid of it. It has a really really soft shimmer it kind of reminds me of the Clio Air Prism shadows because it just makes you look so glowy, like you're glowing with from within. So this shade is really pretty, but I'm just going to get rid of it because it's broken. And that's probably the cause of this mess. Next is this Misha eyeshadow, and this one is in MCR08. This is Coral Wand. This was part of the Lena Pocket Beauty collab with Misha. This is a really pretty eyeshadow. It's just like a really beautiful apricot shade. Could definitely double this up as a blush, but you can also double up a blush that you already have that is this shade as an eyeshadow. But I really like this color just because it's so soft, apricot, beautiful, beige color. So I'll be keeping it. Next, I'm just gonna toss this because it looks really gross this is the color pop eyebrow color and this one is in banging brunette i don't really remember what i thought too much about this i think i liked it i do also like the anastasia dip brow better than this i think the problem with this one for me was that i didn't really like the color that much i'm just gonna grab this other brow product that i have in here that i did really like this is the milani stay put brow color 
I think I have used this in some of my videos before, but it is super dried out. I could probably make like crush this up and make it into an eyeshadow or something. I'm just gonna get rid of it. But this was a really good eyebrow product for me. I really liked it. It stays on very well and I like the color, but it's it's super old, so it's like extremely dried out. Next is this Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow in Pilete? I don't know, I can't pronounce this word. Pilete? This blue color with glitters. I don't remember if this was like a gift from somebody or if I bought it. I think I might keep it because I think the color is very interesting and I can use it for a point, like a point color in my eye makeup. Also, it's like really small, so it's not taking up that much space in my collection. So I think I'll just keep it because it's a glittery blue eyeshadow. It kind of reminds me of like kids makeup, but I like it. I like it. Next is Anastasia Dip Brow. I guess we're staying on the same page with the brow product. This one is in dark brown. It's not completely dried out, surprisingly. So I think I might keep it as I do like this product a lot. I just kind of forgot that I had it. Next is another Aritao Mono Eyes. And this one is in the color on the note 115. This one is kind of bronze, but almost pinky bronze. It kind of makes you think that it looks like a rust, but it's definitely not red enough to be rust. It is such a pretty color. If you can see like those really, really soft shimmers and glitters that just make it look so glowy, it's so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep it. If you're not already familiar with Adi Taum eyeshadows, they are really, really good quality and they're super affordable. They also look and are packaged like MAC single eyeshadows, which is interesting, but I really, really like Adi Taum single shadows. They have like really good color range and also their glittered eyeshadows are really nice. If you're looking for like affordable eyeshadows, I definitely recommend Adi Taum. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out all of my Adi Taum mono eyes from here on. This one is in Mature Burgundy number 72. Well, that is a fat swatch. I actually use this color quite a lot in my makeup. I wouldn't say it's very burgundy though. It comes across more like a purplish color, like a purplish bronze color to me. I use this a lot for my outer corner, smoking out my eyeliner and things like that. So I'm definitely going to keep it because this is a color that I do use. Next is Adi Town Mono Eyes in number 89 Brownstone. This is a matte shade and just like the name suggests, it is a very cool toned stone brown color. I bought this to use on my eyebrows and I really haven't picked it up. I think I'll still keep it because I do really love keeping eyeshadows like this, like this cool toned brown matte color so that I can use for my brows because I do prefer using powder products for my brows. So I think I'll keep it and try to use it more often. Next is Aritao Mono Eyes in number 84 Rose Petal. This is what it looks like. It's like a very hot pink color, cool tone pink color. I think I'll get rid of it. I don't use it and I think I have a blush this color that I can use if I do need this eyeshadow color. So I think I'll just get rid of it because it's not something I use and I definitely have this somewhere else in my collection. Next is number 100, Purple Jazz. Purple Jeju. And that's what it looks like. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's such a beautiful glittery purple color. I honestly don't use purple that much in my eyeshadows, but this shadow is too pretty for me to throw out. I think I will try to use this more often. I just definitely need to stray out of like my usual colors because I am that makeup repeater person. Next is number 123 City Nomad. I think this is a pretty popular color. It's like a brown base 
with blue glitters or like duochrome I don't know if you can see like that it's like pink and green and blue like the, the sparkle in it it's definitely a really pretty color I think this is a like great eyeshadow topper so if you have like a smoky eye and you put this on top I think that would be like really pretty I'm definitely going to keep this this one is Aritam Mono Eyes number 73 Knee Socks this is another super cool tone brown almost gray color I also bought this for my eyebrows so I'll definitely keep it I was like on a really big cool tone brown color kick as you can see both of these are matte but you might see shimmers in some of them because of the other swatches I've been doing but they are both matte colors this one is the Sephora Colorful Eyeshadow in Prom Queen. I guess I can just immediately say that this Aditam shadow I have in this Sephora shadow and this one is definitely way more bright. This one I actually really like to use as a blush because it is so bright and the smallest touch really does go far. This one is actually a blush. This one is in Los Cabos. This was a gift I think from my friend Yeza. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I forgot that I had this. Damn. Wow, that's like a really beautiful... Look at how pigmented that is. Wow. I'm definitely going to keep this. Oh wow, this is like a Marc Jacobs 100 point perk or something. Or like birthday gift from Sephora. This is the color Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I used to really like this lip color. I don't really like it anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Don't remember if I really like the formula that well. I'm inclined to say I didn't. I'm not sure if it looks the same on camera. But it's kind of like a kind of flat red color that has like a little bit of brown and is a little bit cool toned. I have a lot of these e.l.f. long lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I really did like these at one point. Um, they are super super glittery. I'm not sure if I could really say if they're super long lasting but they are very glittery. This one is festivity. I'm not sure if I can swatch this these right now because my nails are too long. This one is in Party. This one is in Confetti. And this one is in Gala. They are kind of like this very soft mousse texture. This one that I'm showing is in Gala. The glitters in here aren't really showing that well, but it is very glittery in person. I'm gonna get rid of this color. It doesn't really seem that unique to me at this moment, like in my collection. I'll get rid of Confetti. I think I might keep Festivity, which was the purple color, and I'll also get rid of Party. These are very old, so I'm not sure if they're still out there. <laughs> Next is the Sephora Long Lasting Eyeshadow in Geisha Kiss. That's kind of a problematic name for this. I definitely don't have anything in my collection like this. I think I'll keep it just for that reason. Also, it's like a really pretty and interesting color. I think I'll go for my Etude House Shadows next. This is the Cashmere Fit Eyeshadow and this one is BR404 in Rose Chocolate. This is just a really soft, nice, light brown, pink beige kind of color. It's like a pink brown. I definitely will keep this. It's like a very nice base color. Next is this Etude House Look at My Eyes Jewel in PP504 Prima Donna. This is what it looks like. This one is really love. The packaging is also kind of worn up. But look at that glitter, it's just so glowy and beautiful. It's like a cool toned glitter. I don't know, it's like a more bronze but at the same time like the base seems like a bit cool tone to me i think it's maybe like the lilac base in it i'm not sure it's really beautiful it's like one of my more loved eyeshadows in my collection i'm definitely going to keep it it's like a really nice topper 
just to put on top of like any eyeshadow look. Next is RD304, look at my eyes. This one as well, I really did use this eyeshadow a lot. I used to just use this as my base color, like just all over my lids and just darken it up a little bit and that's all I would wear. It's like a really nice orange rust color. It also has a very nice sheen in it. I'm definitely going to keep this. I love this. These are like my staple eyeshadows, the Etude House ones. Next one is the Lucky Puppy. This one was for the Lunar New Year. Look at the packaging, it's very cute. You can tell it's like newer. Look at my other one compared to this one. Like you can definitely see how much newer this one is. Yeah, the RD305 and it has like a paw print on the back super cute it's like kind of similar to the one before it's like a bit more pink toned because of the glitters and a bit more orange toned as in the base i definitely will keep this i also have a nature republic eyeshadow this was also during my like very cool toned brown kick this one is in the color 44 i'm not sure it's one of the matte colors that's what it looks like i never use this eyeshadow i don't use it on my lids and i don't use it for my brows so i think i'll get rid of it in the pan it looks so pretty and like interesting like this really matte gray kind of color but I, do, I just can't find like a use for it. I don't really wear colors like these. Like I said before, I kind of like colors that are more lively. Next is this Nature Republic color in jewelry and this one is in 40 Raspberry. This is what it looks like. Oh, it's not very pigmented. That's kind of disappointing. So that's what it looks like. It's like a bit glittery. It has, it's like a red base with red glitters in it. I really do think this shadow is very pretty. I just don't like it because it's so dry and it's very patchy. Like I had to press down really hard with my finger to get this. And I think finger swatches in general are a bit more pigmented than when you use it on your brush. And if it was like that hard to get on my hand with my finger, then I don't think it would be easier to use a brush with. And I had to press pretty firmly with this with my finger, so I don't want to be pressing that firmly with my finger on my eyes, so I'm going to get rid of it. Next is a Misha Dual Blending Cushion Shadow. This one was in the color Rose Clown, I think it's called. It has like a lighter shade on one end. This is like a pink shade and then it has a darker shade on the other end so you can have like a full-on eye look with these two again i'm not really a fan of like these dual ended applicators although i do think that this is really cute and it's like a nice concept i don't really like it for myself so I'll be getting rid of it. Next, I have these two Bia eyeshadows. I really like Bia eyeshadows. They're kind of similar to Aritam in the fact that they have a lot of really unique shades, I think. This one is in number 5, Golden. It's just like a very rich, warm-toned brown color. Super pretty. Definitely going to keep it. Next is number 9. And this one is Sirpa Hebom. I don't know if any of you remember, but I posted this tweet of like a screenshot of this eyeshadow that says like, I'm so sad. That's like the description of this eyeshadow. So I bought it because of that. It's like this cool tone purple shade. I think it's interesting, an interesting color. And I think I might use it one day. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it, although that reasoning sounds really stupid i don't have any color like this in my collection so gonna keep it i guess from here we can go on into my colourpop collection i was a really big fan of colourpop eyeshadows i mean i still really do like them i just don't use them as much i they don't come into my mind as much 
that's the main reason as to why I don't use them anymore. But at the time, I really liked them because they're so cheap and they had really nice glitter eyeshadows. This one is the Super Shock Shadow Metallic in Bay. This one has like a blue duochrome but a purple base. Super interesting color. Even though I haven't used these in a while, they're still like not dried out and weird. Look at that color. It's so cool. I don't use this ever though, but who knows, maybe I will, so I'm gonna keep it. I feel like if I were to do a smoky eye, I would want to keep this color. I mean, I could do a smoky eye with these two colors right here, like use this as my base and like blend it out with that. Next is So Quiche. This one kind of has like a grayish metallic base and then pink glitters on top of it that's what it looks like i don't know why it's actually super super green in person and personally i don't think i would ever wear this color on my lids because of how green it looks it's almost like a mossy color which i'm not a really big fan of but in camera it kind of looks more like a light bronze but it's like extremely green in person i think like if you were the type to wear this kind of eye makeup then it would be really nice next is tessa the base is very sheer though but it's like silver white glitters i'm not really into eyeshadows like this anymore this is very like 2007 art dong makeup putting this on your egg yozar and putting black underneath it. I'm not really into this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is ColourPop K-Pop in Crenshaw. I actually really like the ColourPop K-Pop collection. They were so pretty. I do use some of them from time to time. It's like this really pretty brown, really warm brown shade, while the swatch looks like really gross, but I'm, I think I'm gonna keep it. It looks really similar to the Bia one, but this one is a bit more brown. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like the slightest bit different. Like the Bia one is more red toned, I would say, and this one is lighter. Next is the ColourPop Pop Rocks. It was like this collection where it was, they just kind of mixed a bunch of colors together. And if you like put your finger over it, it would make like a different color something like that i was really into this concept for some reason i bought so many of them it's still really pretty look at that glitter it's a very unique shade i think i'll keep this one because why not i'm very lenient with my eyeshadow decisions huh next is color pop birthday boy this was like their first year or something celebration i remember this being like a super glittery eyeshadow so that's why i bought it it's like very bronze with like silver lilac glitters periwinkle i don't know but that's what it looks like i think i'll get rid of it because i don't really wear this kind of cool toned bronze colors anymore it's not my cup of tea anymore so i'm gonna get rid of it next is color pop and weenie i think this was like a pretty popular color well this looks really similar to that other etude house shadow that i was talking about rd304 it looks really similar um i still like this sh color i think i'll keep it i'm not very sure about my the decisions that i'm making at this moment Next is a maze and this one looks to be the one that I have used the most of I've actually hit pan on this but I don't remember this color at all Let's see wow that's so pretty okay I can see why I would use the shit out of this color wow definitely going to keep this can't believe i forgot about this this is so pretty look at that glow this kind of reminds me of the id tom shadow that i'm getting rid of next is bubbly it's like a very cool tone baby pink with a lot of glitter see this is why i really loved ColourPop eyeshadows well i just like threw it catapulted it across my room 
But look at that, it's so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep it. Although I'm not sure how I'm going to be using it. Okay, next is Animal, which is like this neon coral color with glitters in it. It seems like, wow, super interesting. Almost chalky though. I think that would be interesting to wear as a blush actually. I might keep it to wear as a blush. Wow, this is not going well. Oh my god, I just dug into it with the lid cap. Next is erotic. It's like a red color with glitters. Seems to be like a very berry toned red color. Ooh. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ah, uh, I actually do think that like I was going through my ColourPop shadows and like getting rid of a lot of the old ones that I didn't want to keep anymore. A lot of these ones are the ones that I did decide to keep and I think I'll keep this one as well. I'm only getting rid of one ColourPop eyeshadow. Okay, this one I feel like I wouldn't like that much. This is in Meow. Oh my god, look at that. It's so cute though. It's like black, white, and has a little bit of pink in it. Maybe she'll surprise me. Interesting, pretty, super glittery, but I don't think I would ever wear it. It's like blue toned gray. It's like a silver blue color. Very interesting. Very pretty. Don't think I'll wear it, so I'll get rid of it. Okay, next is this ColourPop Girl Power. Oh, I have to just keep it because of the name. This one is like the only one that's actually cracked like this. I think it might be like the matte formulas that dry out faster. Again, my makeup is really old. Well, this is like almost unusable because of how dry it is. I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's like a very cute color. I can tell, but it's super old, super dried out. So I, I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is in Shop. Ooh, I think this is another matte, but this one is like super creamy. It's like a very dusty mauve. Is that even mauve? It's like a really nice, muted pink color i'm gonna keep it i don't think i have anything like that in my collection even like for blushes next is ColourPop k-pop in wilshire it's another matte color this one is like a yellow beige i think i'll get rid of it i don't think i'll use this this that much because of how like yellow it is or it feels to me I definitely think I like the Etude House Cashmere Fit one better than this color. Another K-pop, Sunset Boulevard. It's like a very soft, shimmery gold champagne. For some reason, it looks way prettier on camera than in person. It kind of looks a little bit more flat in person. I don't really like it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is ColourPop Summer Lovin'. And this one is another one of those like kaleidoscope. I don't I really don't know what they used to call them. I don't I'm just like going for kaleidoscope. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is really pretty. It's like a pinky brown shimmer it has a lot of glitter in it wow that's so pretty keeping definitely i haven't like touched these in so long that i'm like shocked next one is in alchemy and this one was like a limited edition one i believe i used to use this a lot because of how pretty it is and it's just super glittery it's like one of the prettiest glitter eyeshadows it's supposed to be a topper, that's why it doesn't really have a base, but you can see like when I shift, you can see how like glittery that it is. It doesn't have like a very pigmented base, but it's literally so beautiful and glittery and glowy. I'm definitely going to keep this. Last one is this flipper, ColourPop Super Shock and Flipper. Wow, this was another eyeshadow that I really love. These were all kind of shadows that I used to use a lot when I first started YouTube. I don't know if any of y'all have been here since. It's like a really pretty apricot shade. But I don't think this color really looks good on me right now. So I think I'll get rid of it. Although it is a really cute color. 
I just don't think I would wear it that much. Okay, so this is almost empty. We only have that much left. Okay, this one is an Elamasca eyeshadow. It's a pigment in Berber. Ooh, this looks really pretty though. Ooh, you can see, definitely see how pretty that is. Super pigmented. Like, I'm barely grazing my skin. It's like a very interesting color. Although I don't think I would wear this that much, I think I'll keep it because I will find a way to wear this. I think I could wear it as like a, um, like just put it slightly in my inner and outer corner. I think that would be really pretty. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. Next is Pat McGrath Labs Copper 005. I just used this in my Hyuna makeup tutorial. Super pigmented, beautiful color. Can't get rid of it. Oh, even though I don't wear it that often, maybe I should. I don't really wear this that often. I think I'll like ask people around me if they want it, but I think I should keep it. I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it. Next is actually the 003 Iridescent Pink Highlighter. I'm definitely going to keep this. It's like one of my favorite highlighters. It's like crazy iridescent. Not only just like a highlight, but it has like that crazy pink sheen. Definitely going to keep this. I love using it as like a blush topper. I just look like super glowy. The glow with this is on another level. Next is this Etude House Tear Liner in number one. I actually still really like using these. They're game changers. While it just looks like a regular silver kind of glitter, it's definitely not. It has like a white base, blue, pink, iridescent glitters within it. I like using this on my bottom lashes, like my lash line for a pop. It's super cute keeping this. Next is this random dandelion shy beam that I have. It's just a sample. I actually do like using this. I do like using this for my under eyes to kind of correct the darkness. Also, it's like a super soft peach color, so it's not as extreme as most other correctors I feel like are so I'm gonna keep it also have this random what's up highlighter I actually really do like this cream highlighter so I think I might keep it actually no I'll get rid of it although it's like really cute I think it's like a touch too dark to actually highlight on my skin tone I'm not really sure there are some highlighters like this that I see but like in a different light it looks like a touch darker than my skin tone so that when I actually use it to highlight my face it kind of looks really bizarre. Jewel of Star Eyes, one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. They're just so glittery and beautiful. I will have to say they are mostly like eyeshadow toppers. You can't really expect so much pigment out of them but they do have a really beautiful glitter. They're just so pretty keeping this. I'm not sure if they still make these because I I think some of you were saying that it's hard to find. Honestly, I haven't really been looking for them because I have all of them, although they are pretty old, so I'm not sure if they're still making them, but I really hope they are. Next is Urban Decay Solstice. Um, I'll just watch it like right here. I don't know. Oh, so pretty. I'm guilty of like never using this, but oh, I have to. It's so pretty. I like can't stop looking at it. This is a really uncomfortable swatch. I don't know why I did this. Next are these three sugar pill eyeshadows. They're all the pigments. This one is in Love Buzz. It's like one of their neon colors, I think. <gasps> Do you see that? It's so pigmented and glittery. I love it. Although it's like really pretty, I don't think I would ever use it. I think I'll have to get rid of it because I will never use this color. I won't like give it the love that it deserves. I'm sorry. Next is Countess. Oh, sorry. That was like a terrible swatch. 
my nail is getting more of this product than my finger is. It looks kind of just like flat on camera, but it's like a really a violet, dark violet color with like purple shimmers. It's really pretty. I think I'll keep it for if I ever do a smoky eye. Next is Sugar Pill and Paper Doll. It's like a really nice lilac color i think it's like so nice that with sugar pill it's like whatever you see in the pan is like exactly what it looks like this one has like these really pretty glitters in it as well it's like a lilac color with like baby pink glitters in it i don't think you can see it at all though i think i'll keep it just because how pretty it is if i'm gonna put back everything that i'm keeping again although i shouldn't because i should probably clean this out oh it looks really empty wow nice that's what it looks like now yay that was pretty successful i'm really happy with how much this shrank like you can definitely visually see it when i put everything that i'm keeping back into the same apartment wow yay i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching bye